Welcome back to another video from your friends at Altitude University. In this week's video, we are going to talk about checking airspace using the Before You Fly app and website. This platform is a combined effort between the FAA and ALOF. Using the Before You Fly app is one of the best ways to make sure you are legally allowed to enter the airspace above you. Before we begin, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue to provide you with more drone related content. There are currently over 869,000 drones registered in the United States and over 331,000 certified remote pilots. When we add that to the number of registered crewed aircraft in the skies, that makes for a very congested national airspace. It's no wonder air traffic controllers are often listed as one of the most stressful jobs in the country. There are several different ways to check airspace and notify others of your drone operations. While each has its pros and cons, Before You Fly is one of the better platforms out there. The program was first released by the FAA in 2016 and has only gotten better over the years. A major improvement came in 2019 when Alof, known as Kittyhawk at the time, took over the app for the FAA. For most of my professional flying experience, I used another platform, AirMap. After that application closed down about a month ago, I switched to Before You Fly and really liked the program. The app is available for Android and Apple platforms as well as on the web. It's free and it has a great user interface. We'll make sure to include a link to the site in the comments below. There are some differences between using the app and the web-based site, but for the most part, if you can use one version of Before You Fly, you can use the others. For this reason, we'll walk you through using the web-based site, which should make using the app easy. The website for Before You Fly will have links for downloading the apps and using the web-based platform. Begin by clicking on the Login tab located in the top right corner of the screen. You'll then be brought to a screen with two options, Login to Free or Login to Enterprise. Click on the Login to Free tab. If you don't have an account already, you'll need to sign up. But once you take care of that, you'll log in and arrive at a screen that shows a map of the United States and asks you to click Map to Place Marker. If you're using the app, you'll log in and click on the location you wish to fly in with your finger. As you look around the location, you'll notice a wide variety of shapes and colors. These represent the various airspace restrictions around you. If the spot you're looking to fly in has no restrictions, the bottom right-hand corner of the screen will show a graphic with a drone and several yellow stars around it. It will also say, let's fly. There are no advisories in your area. It's safe to fly. Note, be aware of live flights around you. If this is what you see, you can plan a mission by selecting that tab above the drone graphic and you're ready to go. So, what if there are restrictions in the area? Well, in this case, you have two options. If the restricted airspace you are in is covered under Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability, or LANC, you can click that tab. A screen will appear from the right side asking for flight-specific information, such as who will fly, when and how long they will fly, how high they will fly, and whether they are flying recreationally or commercially. There will also be a map below that area where you can draw the area you are flying in. Once everything is filled out, you can click the next button in the bottom right. From here, the screen will show a green mission if you are eligible to fly. If you see green, you can click on the next button, and after agreeing to the terms and conditions, you can click the Agree and Accept button for LANC authorization. If there is an issue with your flight, the screen will either become yellow, meaning you need further review, or red, showing that you will not be allowed to fly. Follow the prompts if the screen is yellow. Typically, this means your request will be sent off for further review. If it's red, you should assume this is an area you will not be allowed to fly in without exceptional efforts beyond what the app is intended to do. If you're not flying in a LANC area, you can follow similar steps by selecting the Mission tab just to the right of the LANC tab. If you fill out the information under the tab, you can add the mission, assuming the airspace is clear. So, this should get you through the basics of using the Before You Fly platform. There are many other features, such as flight logs, workflow, and risk assessments that you may find useful. Take some time to explore the rest of the app and decide what works best for you. Hopefully, you now have the ability to check the airspace where you want to fly using the Before You Fly platform. We hope you liked this week's video, and we look forward to seeing you next week. From all of us at Altitude University, stay safe out there and happy flying.